when the Biden administration speaks about allies and the need to bring our allies together, um, it may sound sort of benign, but given the fact that the United States is now committed, committed itself in, on the basis of military doctrine and a new foreign policy, orienting towards major power conflict with China, and it's a full spectrum confrontation with China uh, in the South China Sea, in the arms race, in the Arctic, in outer space, and then there's the economic side of the conf confrontation or competition. Uh, the U.S. obviously needs to get its allies in line. It needs to discipline its allies, the, those countries that have, since the end of World War II, performed as a junior partner for the United States. So the U.S. is trying to, uh, you know, put, put it all back together, but I don't think they'll succeed because of the divergent interests of the European countries. Again, Trump disrupted the alliance to some degree. But these countries have their own needs, their own interests, and, and a big part of that is having good relations with China. I think there has been a wake-up call for the United States. You know, they have seen the competition from China, particularly the technological and also geopolitical competition from China, and they believe they are falling behind. They need to do something to catch up again and perhaps surpass China in its technological development. And I don't think it is right to say that uh, Biden has traveled to Cornwall to discipline the Europeans. But, of course, the transatlantic alliance has been in really in the doldrums. The, uh, the Trump administration has almost killed off the transatlantic relight. It was uh, hostile relations during the Trump era. And Biden wants to go to Europe, has gone to Europe, to re-establish trust and cooperation among the transatlantic alliance. China has, of course, made very great strides in all respects, particularly technology, uh, design, and all sorts of things. And uh, the United States has become worried that China may overtake the United States in these areas. But that is not ganging up on China when one tries to compete with China in a peaceful way, in a technological way. That is, I think, what great powers tend to do. And it would only be natural that the United States doesn't want to be left behind by China.